Hey friends, Julie here and welcome to my channel. If you guys recall, last week I shared this huge thrift haul and today is going to be episode number one of making over these items. In today's video, I'm specifically just going to be showing you how I made over the baskets as well as gave you some really creative ideas on how to style them. Now this first basket, I am just simply going to restain it. I don't like the color of this light wood now, this is already, it's supposed to be a planter, and it has like a clear coat finish on it. So it did take the stain. However, it is really important that if you're going to put this outside or anything like that, that you coat it with some clear matte finishing spray paint just to kind of seal in the stain. Now, staining a basket is a really easy way to change it to be the way that you like it. Um, but you do want to make sure because it is a basket that you get into all the little grooves and the nooks and crannies and you want to do both sides so that the old color isn't showing through. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. So here is how this basket looks once the stain is all dry. This would be really good with a potted plant in it, but I didn't have one. So also just putting in some greenery works well too. Now if you love thrift store flips, you're going to love this collab I'm taking part in. It is the Thrift Flip Thursday collab. It's hosted by Shayna from Robinson Repurposing and Savannah from Savvy Crafts with Savannah. It is the second Thursday of every month at 1 p.m. And the challenge is to take $10 worth of items and remake them. There will be a link down to a playlist down in my description. So be sure to check out everyone else's thrift store flips. So another simple idea for making over a basket is to just chalk paint it. I'm going to take this apple barrel basket and I'm going to use the duck egg. It's like a really pretty blue color and I'm going to give it one coat. That's all it takes. But it is again important to get in all the nooks and crannies so that it is a nice finished product. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. And here is this basket finished. I love this blue color. And for this basket, I'm just going to add some greenery that kind of hangs over it. But this basket came lined ready for a live plant. Now this basket is a little tricky because you can see it has a very high gloss coating over it. So is what I decided to do is give it a whitewashed look. I am just going to take a mixture of 50% primer, just white primer, and 50% water. I'm going to mix it up so that it's not a solid white. It looks almost like I stained it white. And I am just going to brush it on like I would anything else. Um, again, you do want to make sure that you get in all the little nooks and crannies, and you want to do the inside as well as the outside, or else all this brown will be showing through. And I want to take the time to introduce myself if you are visiting my channel today. My name is Julie from Julie Marie, and I love to share budget-friendly home decor ideas, specifically thrift hauls and DIY projects. So if you like those kind of things, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed this video. And as well, could you please introduce yourself so that we can become friends? It's really nice to know when someone subscribes to my channel. I was noticing it looked like there was hair in this basket, but it wasn't hair from the brush or anything. It ended up actually just being the basket was kind of shredding a little bit. My tip for using this water and paint mixture is you are gonna wanna go through and just kind of dab, making sure that none of the areas are dripping or gooping up. Spent most of your nights just sitting 
For this basket, I thought it would be a nice touch to add a little accent piece to the front. So I am going to rip off the stick from this chalkboard. This is actually from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to glue that onto the front of the basket. Now you're gonna see I am whitewashing the edge to kind of blend it in, but I end up not liking that and I end up using stain, the same stain I used in the first basket to make it pop better. you down and I know that I was not always around I made you feel feel alone you spent most of your nights just sitting I am super happy with how this turned out it is exactly how I envisioned it I love the white with some of the brown um, coming through and again just a plant with some greenery works really well with this kind of basket so I got all of these baskets for $3.50, except for this one Nantucket hanging basket, I paid $6.50, so all of the baskets cost me $10. Now this basket does not need a makeover, it is perfect. So all I'm going to do is hang it up and I'm gonna show you a couple options. The first one is to put some lavender in it. You can get lavender, this is a mixture of Dollar Tree lavender as well as Walmart. Walmart lavender or I also picked up a bouquet of these really pretty spring florals from Michaels They were only five dollars Please let me know down in the comments which florals you liked in this basket Again, this basket is just perfect the way it is I love the color the size of this basket is absolutely adorable It is like perfect and I just decided to put a little bit of greenery in it and add some succulents. And I think succulents look really good in a basket as well. Now, because of the size of this basket, I also think if you hung some ribbon on the handle, it would look really cute hanging from a hook. Give me love. Let me know down in the comments which makeover was your favorite. Which one do you think you'll try? And I will see you guys in my next makeover video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.